How's it going everyone? It's Sam. Today we're going to take a look at Scorpio Tankers because they released their earnings recently and they actually did quite well. And we're going to talk about how that affects NAT and what we can look forward to for NAT stock or Nordic American tankers, just because so many people really like that on this channel. So before we get started, if you don't mind hitting the like button, it really helps out. I asked for this at the beginning because some people don't watch through to the end. So if you don't mind hitting that, it really does help out the channel. And if you do want to use any of those links below, it really helps out too. I actually have an Amazon link down there where if you buy anything on Amazon, you can buy anything and it will actually help me out because it goes through my affiliate so that really helps out too if you want to do that if you haven't bought something that you need to buy it really helps also we're doing a subscriber giveaway so if you want to be entered into that we're giving away $25 just kind of to give back and hopefully we'll be able to increase that as time goes on just leave a comment on any of my videos and you'll be entered in we're going to pick a random video and a random comment so looking at Scorpio over the last week or so they were at a high of about 1371 and they have decreased over 11% and I'm recording this on Monday so it might change a little bit by the time you see it but they're down over 10% just over the last 4 or 5 days and they have reported really good earnings so if we take a look their expected earnings per share was about $2.37 they reported $2.4 a share now, right now, the stock is at $12.14. This is a stock where they reported $2.4 worth of earnings over the last quarter. So if they were able to keep this up, which no one's expecting that they would, but if they were able to keep this up for a full year, their earnings per share would be around $10 on a $12 stock, which is just unprecedented. So Going through their investor presentation, it was a very short presentation that they gave. It's only about four or five slides, but there are some there's some short term thesis that is bullish on these tanker stocks, and then there's some long term thesis which makes these stocks really good too. So, just looking real quick at STNG before we go over to NAT, they recorded some pretty strong numbers here: net income of about 143.9 million. Adjusted EBITDA of about $252 million, which is significant. So this is a $700 million company, and that's before they dipped today. So they are right around $700 million. Their net income was $144 million. So again, massive numbers. They were able to pay down their debt by about $230 million from March 31 through August 5, so that's a significant amount. That's the main problem with STNG as an investment right now, is that they have a lot of debt, but if they're able to pay this off, I've been saying this for months, if they're able to pay it off, they're gonna be a great company to, to invest in. That is their main issue right now, and they have a very high book value for the company right now. It's about $37 a share last time I checked, so it probably went up during this report also, just because they've been able to pay down so much debt. They're also in discussions of refinancing some vessels, eight vessels, which if they're able to do this would add about $80 million worth of liquidity. So that would definitely help the company out too. Just being able to ride out the rough times uh, with an extra $80 million would be huge for them. Now, as of August 5, the company has total liquidity of about $286 million, which is awesome. They also show the fleet TCE from Q3 2020 compared to Q3 2019. And as you can see here, they were able to charge higher rates for every single vessel, which is awesome. I mean, that's what we expected anyways. But they kind of go over here too, over the short-term fundamentals versus the long-term. In my mind, the short-term thesis is that the rates are supposed to go up over the winter. We had great rates during the summer for what these ships were gonna be able to earn for the company. So over the short term, we're gonna see the rates go back up. Hopefully the stocks go up too. Over the long term, what we see is a lot of old fleets, right? So a lot of these companies have very old ships. There aren't really that many being produced right now because there are gonna be some changes in regulations. No one wants to get caught on the wrong side of the regulations in 10 years. And these are ships that last for about 20 years. So we, you don't wanna have to cut the ships or change them about halfway through their shelf life. So what we're seeing is 
a decrease in the number of vessels, which will increase the price of the tankers or what they can charge each day. So hopefully that will send the price up. That's why a lot of people like Scorpio tankers, they have a young fleet, so they'll hopefully be able to take advantage of those increased rates and they have a lot of ships. So that's something to consider. Now moving over to NAT, they released their earnings in about one week from the time of this recording on August 17. And they have been up and down, up and down recently. Over the last five days, they've been down because they were up to about $4.60. Of course, this could change by the time that you actually see this, but they are a company that's pretty much stayed between $4 and $4.50 for the last couple months. Uh, as we can see here, they were up to about $7.34 on the close in late April, and then they've just stayed steady over the last month. What we're hoping to see is some great earnings. Hopefully they beat earnings estimates. They're significantly more expensive than Scorpio tankers. A lot of people are watching NAT because of the fact that so many people are watching NAT, right? So a lot of people have invested in them just for the fact that everyone is watching them as an oil tanker stock. Their CEO was able to get on some CNBC shows and he was also just able to increase awareness of what was going on in the oil tanker market. So what we can expect is a pretty big price movement depending on the market sentiment. So with these kinds of stocks, a lot of people invest and a lot of people divest not based on fundamentals, but based on market sentiment. So if people don't think that the earnings are going to go higher in the future, a lot of the time they'll sell out. And that's kind of what we've seen. While they have been earning a lot of money, people have been divesting from when they were $9 a share. It was kind of a huge pump. And then some people dumped off their shares. Now, I think that they're still earning a lot of money. As we can see here, the oil tanker rates have gone up over the last week. And usually I recover this earlier, but just last week, Friday, they released these numbers. They were earning about 15.5 thousand compared to 14 thousand, which is an increase. They've been steadily increasing their rates over the last couple weeks. But as we can see here, the general oil tanker market was down a little bit. So we see here that they are actually below their 2019 numbers for August so far. And for July, they just crossed over in between there. Hopefully we start to see this tick up soon. Just about any time we should see it start to tick up. Again, hopefully we get better numbers in the winter and hopefully uh, this is a good hedge just in case there's something that goes on where we have to shut down again or oil is produced at a higher rate and people need to be able to store it. Hopefully we see these oil tankers go up. Now, I personally am holding onto the stock. I don't plan on selling it anytime soon, STNG or NAT, just for the fact that I I think that they're gonna continue to increase their numbers over the next you know couple months, and hopefully, maybe even uh, over the next few years. I know one of the YouTubers that I talk to a lot, who I will link to at the bottom, I'll put him in the description. His name's On Borrowed Time, his name is John. So he is bullish on the tank market in general over the next few years just for those decreased tanker rates so definitely pay attention to that that might be something where i might consider just holding on to these stocks just because there is going to be a huge decrease in the number of shipping tankers over the next five ten years so hopefully we see a super cycle where these rates go up dramatically back to like what they were in 2008 2009 as we can see here, they were up significantly between 2006 and 2008. So that's something definitely to consider when you're talking about whether you want to sell out the stock or buy more. So thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you don't mind hitting the like button and using those links below, again, if you just have to buy something on Amazon, anything from uh, tissue boxes to a new computer, it definitely helps out. Also, if you want to get those free stocks, use those links too. And let me know what you think about this. Are you holding? Are you selling? What are you looking forward to for NAT when they announce their earnings? What do you think they're going to be able to produce in numbers? I appreciate it. Thank you so much. I'll continue to give you updates, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.